Well, hi, this is Jason Noel with Novel Hosting. Hey, today we're going to continue our series or the tutorial on how to use your cPanel account. And in this specific video, we're going to go over how to add a add-on domain to your control panel account. Uh, so within the layout here with the, the cPanel layout, um, of your hosting, you're going to see obviously the main domain name uh, on the left hand side here. But if you want to add additional domains to the cPanel account, what you'll want to do is go down to the main section of domains. And then you'll you'll see in there, obviously you have subdomains where you can add a subdomain of your any other domain that you have listed, as well as add-on domains, park domains, redirects. Um, so within this video, we're going to show you how to do an add-on domain, which is actually pretty simple. Um, prior to this, and, and one thing I'll note is that you're going to want to go to your domain registrar, whether it's GoDaddy, Network Solutions, or wherever you register the domain name, and set the uh, name servers over to where your current hosting account is. So currently we're on uh, Novel Hosting, uh, which is actually a, a subcompany of Infuel there, but um, so our name servers are ns1.novelhosting.com as well as ns2.novelhosting.com. So you'll have to set that up actually to at your domain registrar um, prior to actually doing this within your control panel. Uh, it's more or less just telling your registrar, hey, you need to go over to Novel Hosting um, to access the files for the website. That's where the that's where the website is being hosted. So once you get that set up, you can come in here and we'll do our um, our demo sites. So we're gonna do greatcruisephotos.com is the website. And then once you hit tab, it'll automatically create the FTP username as well as the dom uh, document root, uh, which in, in every instance is public underscore HTML forward slash and then your domain name. And then after that, go ahead and just go ahead and type in your password. Uh, you can use the password generator if you need to, or if you want to create a, a password, and then click use password for that. Um, I'll go ahead and copy that and go ahead and paste it in there. And very strong. And then all you have to do after that is just click add domain. So uh, we'll give that one second here. And then after this, we can actually go and see within the file manager that the folder's been created and that uh, the website usually should take uh, 24 to 48 hours, depending on when you um, actually transferred it or ported it over or changed the name servers, sorry. Um, don't want to save it, so we'll go back. And then you can see greatcruisephotos.com has already been added, and then this is the current location of it. Now you can do a, a redirect on that if you're wanting. Uh, you can actually set that up there, or you can set it up on the um, uh, on the main control panel as well. So now that we have it set up, we can actually view it within the files, and then go to the public root. And then on the left-hand side of the file manager, um, you'll see as we scroll down, greatcruisephotos.com. So this is our uh, our main domain that's been, or I'm sorry, our secondary domain that we've added on. So with that, uh, that's how you add a add-on domain to a cPanel hosting account. Uh, definitely feel free to uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, comment below this video if you do have any questions about that. And then definitely feel free to uh, visit our website at novelhosting.com. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.